We all spend a lot of money on tackles, such as rods and reels and terminal tackle, all the things you can see here. But what we fail to do is consider our own safety at sea. Mike, you've got something to say about safety at sea. Well, we all eat fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Some of us eat more than others. <laughs> um, these guys that head off into, into the deep blue and the wild yonder, they're taking their life in their hands every time they leave port. If you look at any of the TV programs today where you've got the deep sea fishermen going out from Grimsby and Hull and uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, all of these places, 85 to 90% of these guys now wear flattened. The reason being, they know they can rely on it. You fall in the water, it doesn't just keep you afloat. You fall in the water in the North Atlantic during December, your life expectancy is 20 minutes. In one of our suits, you're talking two plus hours. The chances of coming out alive are a lot better. Um, our suits are probably now the biggest selling suit on the market, and with good reason. We don't just build a suit, we build a quality suit at a price that most people can afford. And the well, other way key, to look it? at it is, how much is your life worth? We get, yeah, we get a lot of letters and we've actually had the North of uh, North Wales, RNLI, come on to us and say they rescued a guy that fell off of a point when he was fishing in North Wales. He was swept out 150 metres in a matter of seconds and normally you fall off there, you're dead. Mm. This guy survived. He's one of the very few that did survive. They looked at the suit and they said, a great piece of equipment, wish we had it. There's a um, but the thing is, is, is what you've done, I've noticed, is that it's very pliable movement, very malleable. Yeah. So probably people will say, they often say to me, oh, I can't stand wearing those things. Well, I'll tell you yeah. what, you're out on the beach, all the rocks, all the boat, wherever, on a pier, and you wrap yourself up in one of these. I reckon, well, I know you can move freely in them. The you whole, can cast. Point, the whole point is. Look, and you're going to you know, keep warm. They're soft. They're warm. Again. Um, about seven or eight months ago, I was watching, I think it's called The Blue World with Attenborough or one of these people, and suddenly there's eight or ten people all around a, an ice hole out in the, and I did say ice hole, um, out in the, the Arctic or somewhere, with whales poking their heads up. Every single one of them was wearing flattened suits. A few weeks before that, all of the, the young royals from the house, uh, the royal house in Denmark, Norway and Sweden, they, they were larking around on the ice and snow and what were they wearing? Flat and flotation mm. suits. Uh, it really is, it's the suit of choice. I'm going to say that because I own the company, but I'm also saying it because it's the truth. Mm. They're a damn good suit. Well, they are very good suits. I'm very well aware of them and worn them myself. But on this suit, what are the little things? Uh, there's a whistle here well, to start, which is important. Yeah, you've got the solus whistle, You've got the lights, you've got Reflective solus tape. tape. Everywhere you look, there's solus tape. Not the cheapest stuff in the world. It's all very we don't well, cut back on it. it. It's all very well being in the sea, floating around. And you can't be seen. Head you, headlight of yep. any boat, helicopter, yep. that'll glint from miles and yep. miles away. Well, so does that. Believe yes. you and me, that stands out. It's not the thing if you want to go down to the pub and creep home without being seen by the wife, don't wear one of these. <laughs> That's right. And so, just to finish this up, we've got a, a one-piece version here. Yep. And we've also got... Uh, we've got the two-piece. Kind of really, isn't it? Um, the, the one thing I would say is all of our suits don't just qualify as a flotation suit, they qualify as a survival and an immersion suit. Now, with the two-piece, it is the only suit, I believe I'm correct in saying, or it was a short while ago when I last checked, it was the only suit that, if you wore the jacket on its own, still held the qualification as a survival suit. Doesn't hold, it won't qualify for immersion because you're not wearing the trousers. But just the jacket will still keep you afloat and help you survive. Well, that's absolutely perfect. So play safe, get safe. Don't go fishing in cold, damp, or afloat without one of these on because it might just well save your life unless you're fishing in the West Indies.